But less than 48 hours before the easy, the ease on the Lagos lockdown, Lagosians expressed worry over the financial realities occasioned by the lockdown, such as job losses and inflation. Plus, TV correspondent spent some time feeling the pulse of Lagosians and with a walk from home, CEO sharing his experience and now the report. Lagos seems to be sleeping. For five weeks, the city has been in a lockdown, all thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic. Businesses and other economic activities have been shut down, totally grounded to a halt. But as economic activities gradually resume, Monday, May 4, working class Lagosians say they are eager for life to return to normal. Well, many of us are quite apprehen apprehensive about the easing off of the lockdown. I, I would say, like I said, for livelihood, people are hungry. Some people are starting their businesses from scratch. Economy of Nigeria, 65% is cash and carry. It's a daily economy. So because of this 65% of people, I'm happy. Emiri Agonwa is one of the scores of CEOs who have had to work from home. He recounts his experience. I think working from home is pretty simple. So I tell you how I work, do my whole work at home. So in the morning I wake up, I play a little with my family, we do all the stuff we need to do. By 9 a.m. I'm in my study. I deliver three straight hours of work, 9 to 12. And I come out, we have a conversation, and I plug down that one, 4 to 5, or 4 to 6. And the day is gone. Five hours of work every day. For many, part of the beauty of the lockdown has been family bonding. But there are fears of inflation and devaluation of the Naira. Um, there's uh, a shaking that's already happening presently. And uh, let me speak from the government perspective for once. And um, the government is ensuring, trying to do everything within their power to ensure that people don't lose their jobs. But the truth is that um, we need to also find a little bailout for organizations. Because if you are telling companies to ensure that people don't lose their jobs, you also need to make provision for them to ensure that they continue to retain the existing staff. Mr. Agonwa says the lockdown offered an opportunity for businesses across Nigeria to do business online. What the lockdown has done for me is that giving me the opportunity to evaluate my priorities and also look at my business case studies and know the ones that produce more results, the ones I need to put a little bit on the shelf, the ones I need to pull out of the shelf. One thing that is certain is that life after the lockdown will be tough. Mary Chinda for Plus TV Africa. <laughs>